Hey everybody, Randy with Low Block LS uh, again here today. Um, going to be working on the truck some more. Got her in the driveway again, as you can see. Um, and just wanted to say thanks to uh, everybody who takes the time to watch these videos and like and comment. Um, I don't have a huge following by any means, but it uh, uh, means a lot to me that uh, some of you guys actually take the time to watch these and uh, comment on them. So uh, just wanted to. Uh, Say thanks to you guys and uh, tell your friends and like and subscribe. And uh, if you're getting some value from these videos, just um, yeah, spread the word, I guess. But yeah, thanks again to everybody who takes the time to uh, like and uh, watch and comment and subscribe. So thanks a lot. Um, today I'm going to be working on installing the three bar map sensor and uh, doing the. Uh, um, what's it called? Enhanced OS for HP tuners, and I'm going to check the calibration of it and all that, and I will uh, show you guys how to do all that um, if I can figure it out for myself. So, I'll put the camera around here and uh, show you what I'm up to. Okay, I uh, neatened things up a little bit from uh, the way they were yesterday. I've just got my uh, boost line and uh, oil feed tie wrapped up a little neater i still got to find a better solution for this coolant tank but anyways my main uh, mission for today is i'm going to change out the factory map sensor to i've got this three bar that i just got from a local shop here light speed innovation so um, first thing i'm going to do is take this cover off because i from what i understand the the factory map sensor is underneath this cover right near the back of the intake so uh, I will take this cover off and we'll have a look at that uh, map sensor okay so I got this cover off and that is the map sensor right back there so I think I'm just gonna cut these wires here and uh, splice it into uh, my new uh, map sensor there but I'll leave about an inch on the wires there on the factory connector and then I'm just going to leave this factory map sensor in place here to plug the hole. So I'm going to cut these wires here and then uh, get it wired into the new sensor. So like I said I left about an inch of uh, wire on the old connector here and I'll just take this connector off and put it in the garage somewhere in case I want to need it again and uh, now we'll get that new map three bar map sensor hooked up to these wires here okay so I'm just looking up how to wire in this new sensor so I'm on the uh, sloppy mechanics wiki page I'll put a link to that in the description but it's a good source of uh, Matt Happel has put together lots of information he's kind of a pioneer or Maybe not a, well, he probably is a pioneer, but um, he's one of the first guys to share tons of information about doing these swaps, so big thanks to him, and I want to continue in that same spirit of uh, sharing what it takes to uh, do these LS um, turbo installs on a low budget, so I'm uh, just looking here. So for the wiring harness I cut, the gray is the five volt reference, green is the signal, and orange is the ground. And that corresponds with the colors of the wires I just cut here. So just gonna scroll down. And keep scrolling here. Somewhere on here, I saw it before. Let me scroll back up a bit. Okay, yeah, here on my new, got my new sensor here, and let me try and adjust the camera angle. You can see it's marked uh, A, B, and C, corresponding with the pins on here. And here it tells me pin A is ground, pin B is the sensor output, and pin C is the plus five volts. So I'll just scroll back up here and match up the wiring to the right pin here. and. Uh, then we'll power it up and see how it works. Okay, so I've got a chunk of wire here I'm going to use to extend this uh, wiring. So on that sheet, it said the orange wire was the ground wire. 
So I'm gonna make the ground the black in this cable that I'm hooking up to. So I'm gonna splice the orange wire onto that black one. And that diagram also said that this gray wire is the five volts. So I'm gonna splice that onto the red wire in my new cable here. And that leaves the green wire, which is the signal according to that <clears throat> web page. So I'm gonna splice that onto the white wire here. So black will be my ground, red will be my five volts and white will be my signal. So I've got that spliced up just like that. Green to white, gray to red and orange to black. Now I'll hook up the other end. So I just taped up the wires there where I spliced on and then um, running this cable over here. And I think I'm just gonna mount this, actually maybe I'll mount it that way. Screw the uh, three bar map sensor to the firewall here. And then yeah, run the cable up and connect it to the pins here. So. Um, yeah, I'll just get that uh, map sensor screwed to the uh, firewall here and then we'll get it wired up. So I got the three bar map sensor mounted to the firewall there and I just got this wire kind of zip tied to the air conditioner line here. Now I'll crimp the connectors on there so we can uh, hook the power up to it. So it says pin A is the ground, so that'll be my black wire. So I slid this little rubber boot over and then I'm going to crimp on one of these pins into there and then I think it just snaps into the connector. And there's an example. I, I don't have the right crimper for these pins, so I just used like needle nose pliers to crimp that uh, pin onto the wire there. So. But it seems on there solid, so hopefully that works. I'll do the other two now and plug them into the connector. Okay, so I got all three of them pins crimped on there, so. Okay, so I've got my, uh, those crimped pins plugged into the connector here. So I should be able to plug this into here. And now I should be able to uh, power the truck up and uh, we'll have to go into HP tuners and install that enhanced three bar operating system. And then we'll see, uh, we'll make sure that this is uh, getting the right readings. And the other part of the equation here, I'm gonna run a hose from the port on this map sensor. And where I pulled the cover off on this uh, intake manifold, there's a hose barb here. I'm just gonna break, I'll have to grab some pliers or something and break that there's a little piece of plastic you can break off this hose barb and then i'm going to hook this hose up right here okay so i'm rigged up to uh test out my uh three bar map here so i've got that hose that is gonna connect up uh, the lighting's not that great here but I'm gonna connect up to this hose barb on the side of the manifold but right now i've got it hooked up to this uh hand pump so i can put whatever KPA on it like right now I'm pulling <clears throat> like negative 78 so 78 KPA of vacuum so it's reading and I've also got my voltmeter hooked up to the one pin there so it's reading next to zero volts and if I bleed the vacuum off you'll see the voltage is coming up and then if I switch it, I can put pressure on it as well. If I pump up this pump here. I'm putting, I got 64 kPa. And as I pump it up, you can see the volts go up. So at about two bar, what am I at now? 183 kPa. 209. You can see at about, two, I can't see this display very good, 236 kPa, we're at 4.94 volts, so I'm just going to we'll bleed it back down, and I'll see if I can get it logging in HP tuners here.
So I was messing around with this before and I figured out you've got to be connected to the truck before you. So I'm going to connect. And then I'm going to get rid of the mass airflow PID and get rid of the intake manifold pressure PID. And I'm going to add over here. I should be doing this. It's kind of tough to look at your phone and run the laptop, but um, airflow. Manifold, uh, manifold absolute pressure three bar, and I'm also gonna log manifold absolute pressure sensor voltage. So now, if I connect, I'll be able to see. I can see that that manifold absolute pressure sensor voltage matches up with what I've got on my voltmeter here. So, and I also figured out that it won't read. Um, pressure until I start the vehicle but when I start the vehicle it'll uh, read the actual manifold pressure there so should be good to go and just gonna go show one last shot here with that hose hooked up just got the hose hooked up to the three bar map right there and running over to this hose barb on the side of the intake manifold and then I'm gonna have to cut out a slot on the side of the intake manifold here for that uh, hose or the cover that goes over the intake manifold I'll have to cut a slot out for because it looks kind of I kind of like having that cover on there so I'm gonna notch it out a little bit so yeah on this vortex or vortex cover thing I'm just gonna cut a notch out right about there for that uh, map sensor hose so, so I just drilled a hole in there now I'm gonna just take some side cutters and notch out the plot. And there you can see I've got that cover notched out for that uh, map sensor hose to go through.